Good morning, boys and girls, and happy Sabbath. This is teaching Marissa from Sabbath School. And thank you for coming to church. And for those online, thank you for logging in. Well, today's story is about a boy and his dog. The boy's dad had, the boy's grandpa had passed away and died. So the family was going to go drive to Washington for, to get ready for his memorial service. So his mom his sister, the little boy, and the little boy's dog drove to Washington a few days earlier. And later, his dad was going to fly in uh, for his uh, service. Now, the little boy liked to bring his dog everywhere because it brought him happiness and because it made him comfortable. And he just couldn't leave his dog back home. And the name of his dog was Ginger. And he had one floppy ear. And one ear that's standing up. See that? That's Ginger and the boy. So when they got to Washington, the next morning, his grandpa's house was really big. And it was, and it was on a big lot. So the field was really big. Kind of like a barn, like a farm. So that morning, the next morning, the little boy decided he couldn't wait to take the dog outside so the dog could have so much fun. So they went outside. And the dog was running back and forth, back and forth, jumping, uh, breathing fast. <sighs> he was also pooping everywhere. I mean, that dog was having a good time in that big field, right? So then the little boy was just looking around as well. And he saw that there was um, a neighbor in the back that was constructing a barn. You see that right there? Well, the little boy started looking at the construction site and seeing everything going on. And he also was talking to the neighbor and asking him all these questions. And while they were talking, he kept an eye on the dog because he didn't want the dog to maybe like, you know, escape through the fence or anything happen to him. So he was talking to the neighbor. And then when he get, went again to look at his dog, he started looking everywhere and then faster and then faster, and he couldn't find him. And then he started to panic, right? Where, where's Ginger? Ginger! Ginger! And he couldn't find her. And he's, his eyes were going everywhere. He started walking really fast. He kind of wanted to cry. And then he finds her. And she looks super sad. And he looks into her eyes. He goes, oh my God, something's wrong with Ginger. So he runs fast to get Ginger. And he picks her up. And Ginger can't walk and he, she falls down. And then he tries to pick her up again. She takes a couple steps and she falls down. What's wrong with Ginger? And he goes, oh my gosh, she can't walk, so I'm gonna carry her. So he tried to carry her to the house, but she was kind of heavy. He's like, oh, I can't do this. Well, I can't do this, I can't do this. Oh, Jesus, he said, he prayed, oh Jesus, please help Ginger be okay. Please help her be okay. So he put her down. And then he uh, ran to the house. So he run, 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 run. Mom, mom, hurry up. You gotta come, you gotta come. Something's wrong with Ginger. And you know how mommies are sometimes. What is it? Mom, hurry, come. So mommy comes out and they see Ginger on the floor looking super sad. So they pick her, a mom picks her up, takes her to the house wraps her in a towel, and she says, we got to go to the vet. we got to go to the veterinarian. Now, the vet is the doctor for animals. So they jump into the car. They jump into the car, and the little boy has Ginger on his lap, right? Now, Ginger's a dog, so when you get in the car, you know how dogs get in the car. They're looking out the window and looking out the other window. But this time, Ginger was just laying on his lap, still. And the little boy goes, oh, she's going to die, Mom, she's going to die. What's wrong, my dog? And the little boy kept putting his ear on her belly to see if he can hear her breathe. And just very little he can hear her breathe. Mom, hurry. The veterinarian was only like 10 minutes away. But to him, it seemed like forever. 
Finally, they get there. They jump out of the car. They run to the veterinarian's office. And when they get there at the door, it says, sorry, we're closed. He's like, she's gonna die. She is going to die. I don't think she could survive this. So they drive to another veterinarian and the veterinarian was open. So then they rush in, right? And they tell everything to the vet. We, she was running around, she was playing. Uh, she was chasing gophers, they told her. The little boy told the vet. They're like, gophers? Yeah, there was a lot of gophers. Those are the little animals that make holes in your backyard that nobody really likes. So um, she was chasing them and after that I didn't see her. So the veterinarian said, oh, Okay, wait in the waiting room and I'll take her back with me. So they went to go wait in the waiting room. And while they were waiting in the waiting room, they can hear a little bit uh, Ginger. She's mm -hmm. oh, and the little boy was so rude. And um, it was taking a long time. And him and, him and his mom once again prayed for Ginger to be okay. So then the veterinary comes back out and she goes, after running a lot of tests, it seems that your dog has been poisoned. So then he thought maybe they were trying to poison the gophers and the dog might have also had some of that poison. So the veterinarian said, we're gonna give her some treatments, okay? This is gonna take a minute, so you guys need to go wait in the waiting room. So the little boy's like, oh, he's just, she, Ginger's gonna die, oh, I don't know. And his mom said, let me call your dad and tell him that we're gonna be here for a minute to wait at the airport. So she calls her dad, his dad. And then uh, his mom tells him, we prayed, Right? Didn't you pray for Ginger? He's like, yeah. Now we just have to uh, trust Jesus that she's going to be okay. So then they're waiting and waiting. And then another hour later, after the treatments, she comes out and they see Ginger wagging her tail. And he says, Ginger, she's okay. And the vet said, she's a little bit tired, but you're gonna have to make sure you give her her medicine and she gets a lot of rest and she's gonna be okay. So they got Ginger, they went back into the car and they went back home. And then when they went, when they got home, then they just sit around. They started praising Jesus, especially the little boy goes, thank you, Jesus, Ginger's okay. She survived, she didn't die. Now that boy always remembers this day that her dog almost died, got poisoned and almost died. And he remembered that he has to trust Jesus. And he has to remember that boys and girls, we cannot give up on our prayer. Even though we prayed and it feels like it's not gonna be answered or it will never be answered, we cannot give up on our prayer. We have to keep it close to our heart and have faith that it'll be answered the way God wants it to be answered. Okay, boys and girls? Well, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Sabbath. Until next time, bye.